Good morning, everyone. This is a case that is not only tragic, but extremely disturbing. Around 10.30 p.m. last evening, a mother's out for dinner and is making every effort she can to get home before her children go to sleep. So she arrives at the house and goes upstairs to say goodnight to her five-year-old daughter who sleeps in the top bunk and her eight-year-old son who sleeps in the bottom bunk. Um, when she goes and kisses both of them goodnight, the, her five-year-old daughter even giggles because she was trying to act like she was already asleep. So she kisses both her children asleep, leaves them there with the children's father, her husband, and runs to the restroom because she has to go to the bathroom. While she's going to the bathroom, she hears several gunshots. She initially believed that the gunshots happened right outside her residence, but then sometime uh, shortly thereafter said these gunshots were too close. Fearing for her own life, she runs outside. When she runs outside, she encounters her next door neighbor. He had already made a frantic 911 call to our communication center saying that he heard several gunshots. She takes over the phone call and starts talking to our 911 dispatcher. As that phone call is occurring, the husband, the children's father, walks outside carrying the eight-year-old son saying, call for help, call for help, call for help. Our deputies and Hillsborough County Fire Rescue rushed to the scene and, and are there a short time later. When our deputies initially arrive on scene, they see the father in the family room cradling the eight-year-old son saying it was an accident. They're like, sir, what do you mean it was an accident? It was an accident. I don't know how the gun went off. I accidentally shot my son. Fire Rescue gets there and does a wonderful job of initiating every life-saving measure that they can think of to prepare this child to be transported to Tampa General Hospital. The detectives on scene then say, is there anyone else inside the residence? Is there anyone else here? They said, he, the husband says, my, my, my five-year-old daughter's upstairs sleeping deputies go upstairs only to make the gruesome discovery that there's a five-year-old laying in a top bunk laying in a pool of her own blood um, she is shot two to three times in her head the same injury that the eight-year-old had sustained and suffered from paramedics come upstairs again begin life-saving measures and rush both ch children to Tampa General Hospital our five-year-old victim has been pronounced deceased. Our eight-year-old is fighting for his life. He went to surgery uh, last evening and um, this morning um, is fighting for his life as the wonderful, wonderful doctors and staff at Tampa General Hospital are doing everything they can to, to save this young boy's life. This is a, a this is a case that, and an experience that no sh parent should have to live through, and that no law enforcement officer or first responder should ever have to witness. Um, we as a sheriff's office are struggling today. Our, our detectives are, and deputies who were on scene are, are gonna need some help, and we're bringing some counselors in to try to get them through this, this gruesome scene that they had to witness and detectives have to work through as they continue to put the pieces of the puzzle together here. Arrested is Jermaine Lavanda Bass. He's 30 years of age. His date of birth is 4-27-1992. He has been charged with first degree premeditated murder and first degree attempted premeditated murder and aggravated child abuse. I hope that this individual feels the full weight of the criminal justice system and never sees the light of day where he can ever be in a position to harm another human being. In Tampa Bay, we're, we're extremely privileged. We have so many wonderful resources. The spring of Tampa Bay, if anyone ever feels they may be a victim of family violence, pick up the phone and take advantage of such a wonderful resource. The same goes for the, the, the crisis center. It's as simple as calling 988. That's, that's as easy as it is to get the help that you may need, is to call 988. As deputies 
initially working through the call and once they went upstairs and made the gruesome discovery that he had also shot his five-year-old daughter they read him his Miranda rights and he declined to make any further comment I don't know why he did this and I don't know if we'll ever know and he didn't make any further comments except the fact when we encountered the eight-year-old son and he said that um, uh, it was an accident that he accidentally shot his son but you don't accidentally shoot your children three to four times in the head I'll try to take any questions I can at this time Yeah, great question. Uh, no calls for service at this residence, and and the uh, Jermaine Bass, we uh, we find no criminal history on him. Has the mother been able to shed on any any light on whether or not there's been any prior instances of domestic violence? Yeah, um, from not that we know at this time. Uh, we continue to talk to her, as you can understand. She's been through something quite traumatic. Uh, so we tread lightly as we're trying to have those conversations with her, but nothing that we know of now. But again, this is extremely preliminary. I, uh, that could change as, as she starts to gather her thoughts, but nothing that we know of now, no indicators. Like I said, she kissed her children goodbye and went to use the restroom uh, to go to bed herself. This, this neighborhood in North Tampa, up by the U.S. Separate, it's, it's a nice neighborhood, a nice family neighborhood. Uh, again, the neighborhood, the, gun, the neighborhood, the gunshots and walked outside to, to see if he could offer any assistance and immediately called 911. That's all we could ever ask for. So not a bad neighborhood. It's the Armature Gate ta townhomes uh, north of Fletcher Avenue, east of Barris Avenue, a, a, a nice community. No, uh, she initially thought the, the gunshots happened outside when she was using the bathroom, um, but then realized that they happened inside the residence, so she ran outside real quick, and that's when she ran into the neighbor who was there to offer assistance and who had already called 911. And again, moments later, the husband, the children's father, runs run, out, run outside as well, uh, cradling his 8-year-old son, saying, call for help, call for help, call for help. Yeah, I do not, but we'll certainly get that to you. Sharon, what's your message to the family, to neighbors, to those dealing with this loss? Uh, to, this, to this mother who's lost one child and could possibly lose a second and whose marriage is uh, obviously over, our heart goes out to you. Um, I certainly will pray for all of you today. I, I don't know that. We know it's a 380 uh, semi-automatic firearm. Again, s s working through those details now. I, if, if we get those, I'll certainly put, put everything we get out there, everybody. Yes, it was just the four who live in the house, just the four were inside the residence when this happened. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.